<coughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days today, huh? Nice. And of course, I have to go to town and hit the orange store because I was too lazy to do it after work yesterday. <laughs> oh, well. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I want to do that... Uh through that other side of the closet this weekend or that other closet on the other side and so I need to run to town real quick and pick up uh, the lumber I need for it and then um, I want to pick up uh, all the wood and everything but I also need some extra water because today is corned beef and cabbage day so I probably won't get a whole lot of work done today It'll be all about watching The Quiet Man with John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara and uh, church, plug the church right here. Been cooking up the core beef and the cabbage on this blustery winter's day. Winter's not gone, it's not over yet, but we are, you know, slowly but surely heading into that best time of the year for me. It's when everything starts to melt. Predicted to get about three four inches of snow today but the temperatures are warm that's all that matters right now it's like 22 degrees Fahrenheit I'll put a descriptor down below to show you the temperature in Celsius because I always forget to do that right <laughs> oh goodness gracious the worst part about driving this time of year is that the pavement was completely and I mean absolutely clear all the way to the turn off for the road that I used to get to my house. That's always that's gonna have ice and snow on it until spring, you know, until it all melts off. So that means that this morning with a warmer temperature and a warmer snow, it's probably gonna be a little on the slick side. But take the time. Take the time getting into town and then I got a letter at uh, the store I work at for whatever reason, which is interesting. <laughs> so I can stop by there and pick that up. Pretty wild, huh? I love the power of nature. I love the power of storms. Super, super awesome. All right, I'm gonna pick up this lumber and I gotta get some uh, light bulbs also for the bed, for the headboard. <coughs> but uh, we'll get back to the cabin, I think, and start uh, start getting corned beef and cabbage ready for dinner. All right, lumber loaded. Snow drifts all over this parking lot. It's super cool. <laughs> you know, I, I'm amazed because when we get real lousy weather like this, um, and this is lousy weather, you know, don't take it the wrong way. This isn't a normal Friday, you know, in Kenai, Alaska. Although a normal Friday in Kenai, Alaska is always windy. But when we get lousy weather like this, everybody stays home. They're all panicking. Nobody wants to drive on the roads, and then that, that's fine. You know, I, I get the whole safety thing first, but this is Alaska, and I got things to do.
So red potatoes, carrots, parsnip, turnips. And I left my peeler in the house, but to be honest with you, I don't mind the peel still on my carrots.
All right, grab a plate. Oh, that is so tender. So tender. Then I need some of these. Fork tender. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. <laughs> oh, raspberry rock is live. We'll watch them while I'm eating dinner. The weather's got to cooperate, and it's a ton of work. We'll see if you're up to it. So, they're calling for partly sunny tomorrow, a centimeter of snow. Oh, rats. No, I can't do it. No. <laughs> and then partly sunny on <laughs> Sunday, and less than a centimeter of snow. Oh, no. Definitely can't do it then. That is a short one, and that is a long one. So I bought two different size studs here, and I did that on purpose because I'm going to use four of these for down here, and then the other four are going to go upstairs. Uh, so down here, I can get by with a shorter stud, and uh, because I'm under the loft. So that is a short one. That's what I have here. All the same size, but I think I stacked them right. Those are the shorts, and these are the longs, so I need these upstairs. And I thought for sure these were going to be the shorter ones. Let me just double check. They should be eight footers. Yep, those are eight footers. So the eight footers are going upstairs, the other ones are going to stay down here uh, for Shelving I'm going to install in the bathroom since I'm not going to really have a bathroom for a while yet because I don't have plumbing, obviously all that other stuff installed. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and set on this wall. Let me show you. I figured I'd go ahead and set up on the on the back side of, of this wall here some shelving that pretty much goes from about here all the way up and I'll, I'll put all my clothes and stuff on here. Uh, that way I'm not digging through it. It's sitting out in the air. Um, so the air keeps circulating through it. I don't have to worry about it freezing up like I had to inside the trailer. And most of them are still inside the trailer. Uh, and then this becomes kind of a changing slash dressing room, you know, getting ready to go to work in the morning. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do that on the inside because then I can still finish the outside. And I already have a plan for how I'm gonna finish the outside as well. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the same lumber, the same uh, tongue and groove that I'm using for uh, the closets upstairs across the front here and, and I'll put a piece up so that you can get an idea and this is a real pretty piece so I'll show you with this because it'll probably stand up pretty good right I mean that is that is some gorgeous stuff and it's upside down right now I know that uh, but just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like 
gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous wood. I love this stuff. I can't say enough about how pretty it, it really is. And I could get um, probably two rows out of each one of these pieces. Because those are eight footers as well. And that wall. is less than four feet yeah so i could definitely get so that's 39 inches um, and that's 847 so out of each or out of each one of these i can get two rows and then cover that middle piece as well it's gonna look really really pretty so that'll give me that the lighter wood on both sides on the top and then this wall and i'll probably do the same thing underneath here uh, running all the way to the kitchen because once I get over to the kitchen I'm going to change that ceiling to something that I can clean on a regular basis. skinnier stuff, which it looks like I might. Let's go with this. And 17 and 28. rough side and a smooth side of this OSC and I'm doing the smooth side out. couple more two buys at my 12 inch mark. Basically it's got to go there and it's got to go there. That gives me my straight line and it also lets me make sure that right this is going to be a door space door space door um, it doesn't have to go all the way the shelves are not going to go all the way over we'll check it it should be good it is level 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 level
perfect. So I had a couple of pieces down there that were a little short of the 21 inches that I'm going to need. Uh, but I did the same thing with the three quarter inch plywood on the other side. And I put those uh, on the bottom and pulled them all the way forward. Because I don't think that's going to be an issue. So what I'll end up doing is... Um, I'll end up just like screwing them down on the front. It's <clears throat> probably awesome right there. That is beautiful. Let's uh Pop just a couple of screws in here to stop those from shifting back. These ones I didn't screw in at all on the other side because, I mean, simply, I want to be able to move them and get them out of the way if I need to. What's, what's the issue? Tissue? Oh, staple? There. So that kind of shows you that I've got extra room on that side, but a whole bunch of extra room on this back corner for storage. Uh, for any big items that I may have. But like I said, I'm going to have a door closed, a door closed, a door, so I can get back into that back corner. And in between each one, I could slide stuff too if I need to. Okay, now we need to make that look like that. But I don't know if I'm going to do that right now because we have a storm coming in and I don't want to be out there when this thing hits because I don't know if it's snow, rain, or mixed rain and snow. The forecast is all over the place right now.
back. <laughs> That'll be okay. Cool. I'll show you what this looks like from the other side. Nice. All right, now I got a place to put some clothes. That'll do. That'll do. All right, dinner time. Thank you.